here and welcome back. Today we'll be talking about the best build to start with when starting up on Albion East server. You can also use this on the original West server if you're new to the game. With the East server right around the corner, a lot of you might not be sure on what you should play, what build you'll get the most out of, and what will be the cheapest. The build we're talking about today will be a build that you can use in all types of content. You can solo world mobs in the black zone and will be able to use them to clear tier 8.3 solo dungeons. This build will also set you up for group dungeons solo pvp and group pvp we are talking about the one and only nature staff nature is by far the best solo player item all around it allows you to complete beginner and advanced content if you're a solo player like 75 percent to 80 percent of the rest of albion online players then this is definitely the build for you i will also be breaking down the items that you will build around the nature staff and why we are going with this build before we get into the video youtube has informed me that 78 percent of you that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel if you are interested in more Albin Online content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It is absolutely free to do so. Now, without further ado, let's get into the breakdown. The benefit of this build is that you will be able to craft this from the start. Let's talk about the items that you will need to craft when going through the tutorial. Since the nature staff is in the hunter tree, you will need to craft a tier two novice bow to start, and then you'll be able to unlock and craft a tier three journeyman's nature staff. You will need 16 chestnut planks and eight neat cloth to craft your tier three nature staff. For your nature staff, you will go with thorns as your Q. This will be your main source of damage combined with your auto attacks. You will drop thorns under your mobs causing magical damage and applying a thorn charge for every tick up to five stacks. This will also slow the mobs down by 25%. Every auto attack that you do while they are inflicted by thorns will an increase damage per auto attack. For your W, go with bramble seeds. This is a great way to do additional damage to your enemies. I recommend lining your mobs up so you can hit multiple targets. Bramble Seeds will also knock your enemy into the air, which will be a great way to interrupt any incoming damage or crowd control. For your E, it will be Circle of Life, which is a great ability to have as it will heal you, provide CC, and do physical damage. The way it works is that depending on the number of thorn charges on your enemy, it will root them in place, allowing you to kite around if need be. The extra damage is great to secure a kill while keeping yourself alive. Your healing ability can heal up to 5 allies, which is great for group play as well. For your passive, start with Adrenaline Driven Charity until you have unlocked Energetic for the increased energy from auto attack. You will use the Nature Staff for a while, even at tier 4, until you are able to craft or purchase a Druidic Staff. You would take a similar ability for your Druidic Staff, except for your E. It will be Spiritual Seed, which plants a seed on yourself and blooms to provide you with a large heal. For your helmet, you will start and craft with the Tier 2 Scholar Cowl. With Fame, you will be able to unlock the Tier 3 Journeyman Helmet, which will be your Scholar Cowl. You will need 8 Neat Cloth to craft your Tier 3 Scholar Cowl. For your Cowl, make sure to take Force Field for your D. This will send out a Shockwave knocking back all of your enemies within 6 meters and ignoring crowd control resistance. Force Field will also deal about 114 damage to start out. You will go with Aggression as your passive, as this will give you an increase in damage and healing cast by 3.5%. You will continue to use Tier 3 Helmet until you are able to craft the Mage Cowl at Tier 4 and above. It will cost you 8 Fine Cloth to craft the Tier 4 Mage Cowl. For your Mage Cowl, you will go with the new ability Fire Breath. I actually love this ability as it will cast a Fire Cone in front of you and will cause a good amount of damage over 3 seconds to all the enemies that are hit by it. You will keep aggression for your mage cowl. Now your armor piece will be the mercenary jacket. Make sure to craft the tier 2 mercenary jacket during the tutorial. You will need 16 tier 3 thick leathers to craft your tier 3 mercenary jacket. For your tier 3 mercenary jacket you will go with infernal shield. This is a great ability to start off with as it will increase your damage resistance by 59 for 8 seconds and reflect 38% of the damage that you take as magical damage. Once you are able to craft your tier 4 mercenary jacket, you will change over to Bloodlust, which will restore health whenever you deal direct damage within 6 seconds up to 7 times. This ability pairs up well with your other nature staff abilities like Protection of Nature. For your passive, go with Balanced Mind for the increased 4% in damage and healing cast. You will also receive an increased defense of 1.96%. Now for your boots, make sure to craft tier 2 soldier boots during the tutorial. Once you have unlocked your journeyman boots, you will craft the tier 3 soldier boots, which will require 8 bronze bars. For your F, you will take rejuvenating sprint, which will increase your movement speed by 80% and heal you over 5 seconds. This is a great ability to use between mobs and anytime you are needing to kite and heal. 
you will go with toughness as your passive. Toughness will increase your defense by 2.44%. Now lastly, you will go with torch as your offhand. This will get unlocked by using your tier 2 bow created at the time of the tutorial. It will require 4 chestnut planks and 4 neat cloth to craft. The reason you will take torch is for the cooldown modifier and attack speeds that synchronize well with your abilities. I understand that resources and crafting will be hard to come by. The great news is that you can get up to tier 4.1 and use this build for almost all solo content. This build requires very little resources to craft and will yield you a lot of silver along the way. I hope you benefit greatly from this build. I also wanted to take a moment and congratulate all the players switching over to the East server. It makes me very happy that you'll get to enjoy this game with a reasonable ping. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Alvin Online content, and I'll see you soon.